Hello brothers and sisters greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ this is pastor George Scotty you know when when you read the bible uh, it's it's such a blessing every word is spirit and life every word has a blessing attached to it even a comma a jot or a tittle in the bible carries a blessing so how can we afford not to read the word so today let me take you to a very interesting passage in the scripture found in second chapter 5 and i'm looking at verse 18 onwards and all things are of god who had reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation listen to the next verse to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself now verse 18 says or verse 19 says that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself so when jesus christ came to this earth 2000 years ago he came as man with god on the inside So when Jesus Christ went and when he was winning people to God it was God in Christ it was God in the body of Jesus Christ the human body of Jesus Christ it was God through the human body of Jesus Christ reconciling the world to himself so which means when i look at at that time 2000 years ago Jesus Christ moving around sharing the gospel or sharing good news and reconciling people to god through himself but listen to this to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and had given unto us that's you talking about you given unto us the word of reconciliation why jesus christ is not here today in the in the physical he's gone to be in heaven but before he departed to go to heaven he has given us the responsibility and he's telling you and me i'm giving to you the ministry of reconciliation how does it happen look at the next verse verse 20 now then we are ambassadors of christ and through god did beseech you by us we pray that in christ stead be ye reconciled to god so my brother my sister when jesus christ was here god was reconciling the world to himself through jesus jesus is gone now he's saying to you and to me he said i'm going to give you i'm authorizing you to do the very similar ministry that i did while i was here so which means god is still reconciling the world to himself through us but there's something else i want to tell you please listen to this verse 20 says now we are ambassadors for christ what is the meaning of this can i take a minute or so and explain this to you we are ambassadors for christ do you know we have an office in new delhi in india where all the embassies are you have the ambassador of us you have the ambassador of russia you have the ambassador of australia so all the ambassadors are representing themselves or their country in our capital city which is in delhi okay now they don't have to worry about anything because they have been taken care of they have the food provided they have whatever is needed is provided because they are representing another country in this country now one thing that can never happen no one can lay even a finger on them now if anyone tries to attack them supposing anyone tries to attack the ambassador of america 
my brother, my sister, it's as good as attacking the nation itself. And entire America will not keep quiet if their representative is being attacked. They will wage war against this nation. Guess what? Not if we are ambassadors. We are ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. Which means we are representing heaven. And as a representative of heaven, while you're on earth, my brother, my sister, every need of us is being taken care of. And the enemy cannot touch us by any means. Not even a form of a disease can touch us. That's an enemy. Now, which means if the enemy tries to touch us, it's us touching the apple of God's eye. And do you think God is going to keep quiet? No, he's going to send his angels, his legion to come and to fight for us. So, what I want you to know, you are highly secure and protected because you're an ambassador. But we cannot sit and do nothing. As an ambassador, we got to do the work of an ambassador. Which means reconciling the world through us to God Almighty. Let me pray. Father, we come before you, Lord, today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we have taken things too lightly, God. Lord, we have been too laid back, Lord. Become too complacent, oh God. Father, let us get to work, oh God. Let us start working and laboring, oh God. Lord, because you have placed us here, God, as your representative. And Lord, we cannot afford to be lazy. We have to be up and about because, Lord, we have to give an account to you, God, as to what we did and what we never did. Bless us today, God, in Jesus' name. Amen.